Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's tutorial is gonna be on this look right here. I wanted to do something using the new ColourPop Central Perk Shadow because this is like the best thing ever. So I decided to use all ColourPop shadows for this look today just since I was basing it off of the one. I figured I might as well use a lot from their new fall collection. So that is going to be the tutorial today. I hope you guys enjoy it. Alright, so to get started, I'm going to be using the L'Oreal True Match Lumi as my primer, and I really like this because it gives a really nice glow under the foundation. Next, I'm taking this Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer, and this is the smoothing one, and I'm just putting that all the places I normally get crazy, which is around my mouth, next to my smile lines, and then on my forehead as well. And then I'm taking the Maybelline Dewy Foundation and I'm going to apply that with a beauty blender all over my face. Now I'm taking my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind and I'm going to be putting that all under my eyes and also using it as an eyelid primer and then I'm going to be putting it on the high points of my face, um, in the center of my forehead, the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow, and my chin. And then I'm taking my Beauty Blender again to blend my concealer out. Now to set my concealer, I'm going to be taking the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette and I'm going to be taking Lucid and Lyric and I'm going to be using those two to set my under eyes. And then to contour my face, I'm going to be taking Sombre from the same palette and I'm using an angled contour brush to apply that and just really warm up my face and I'm going to put that in the hollows of my cheeks as well as my temples. Alright, so now I'm going with this Morphe blush palette. I'm taking this more dusty peach shade. I'm just going to be putting that all in the apples of my cheeks. And then I'm going with Becca Champagne Pop Highlight and I'm going to be dusting that on the high points of my cheeks, the bridge of my nose, a little bit of my cupid's bow, and my chin. Now for the brows, I'm going with the Anastasia Perfect Brow Pencil. And I'm just going to brush those out with a spoolie and then I'm going to fill them in with this pencil. Then I'm going in with my Blink Eyebrow Mousse and I'm going to be putting that on my brows as well. Now to highlight my brow bone and my inner corner, I'm going to be using MAC Shroom Eyeshadow and I'm just taking this um, short shader brush and I'm going to be putting that all on my brow bone and inner corner like I said. Now I'm going to take this ColourPop eyeshadow called Mix Tape as one of my transition shades. And this is just a really nice mauve color. And I'm going to be taking that on my Sigma E25 and blending that all over the crease and up to the brow bone. And I'm taking Cornelius from ColourPop. And since I'm going with all purpley shadows, I wanted to add some warmth with more of a neutral tone. So I'm gonna be using this kind of as my second transition shade. This isn't really necessary, but I felt like it would add some more to the look, so I'm doing it. Next I'm taking Party Time, and this is a little bit darker than Mixed Tape, but it's around the same color. And I'm gonna be taking that with my finger and just putting it all over my lid. And 
Next, I am taking Central Perk, and as you can see, I love this color. It is so beautiful. So I'm taking that on this Morphe blending brush, and I'm just going to put that directly in the crease. I'm going to be using this a lot and really building up this color, but for now, I'm just putting it in the crease to really add some more to the look that we have going right now. So next I'm taking Makeup Geek Corrupt. Any black or really dark shadow will work. And I'm taking this on this thin like concealer brush and I'm just going to really define the crease with this color as well as the outer corner. And then I'm going back in with my E25 blending brush from Sigma and just a tiny bit of central perk and I'm just blending out that black shadow. And I'm just going to take a tiny bit of concealer and just sharpen those lines on the outer corner. And now back in with more central perk, I'm just going to blend out um, the crease and just really define the crease with this color even more than we already have, just to really give it that dark like plum look that I'm going for. So I just popped on some false lashes off camera, these ones are by Ardell, and I'm just going to take this really tiny eyeliner brush and I'm going to be putting some Corrupt mixed with Central Perk just along the lash line. And then I'm going back again to blend everything out even more. Now I'm going to take this pencil brush from Morphe and I'm going to be taking Central Perk, I almost forgot what it was called. I'm taking Central Perk and I'm going to blend that out along the lash line and I'm also going to be mixing that with mixed tape um, just to further blend it out. And then I'm taking Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in Perversion and putting that all along the upper and lower waterline. And then going with Perversion Mascara, and I'm just going to coat my upper and lower lashes. Now to finish off this look, I'm going to line my lips with ColourPop Libby Pencil in Tootsie. And I'm taking this Ultra Matte Lipstick in the color Trap. And after I'm finished applying that, this video is done. And I hope you enjoyed this look. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Ha, ha, ha.